Hey everybody, welcome to Modded Super Flat. I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm doing fantastic. This is episode one, guys. I gotta tell you guys, I've had the itch to play Super Flat for a while now. I just wasn't sure how I wanted to play it. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I am just absolutely enamored by the fact that I can edit a mod pack and then go and play it and you guys are actually interested in that i always thought that those edits and things like that were meant to be behind the scenes but i love doing it and i this and solar apocalypse definitely definitely won't be the last time for that so i've started off with 102 mods and i absolutely plan on adding more but first off we need to get some basic and fix changes done so what i'm gonna do is I'm going to just start a new super flat world, right? We're gonna go into creative and just kind of see what changes we might need to make. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into super flat and just pick the overworld preset. That's what I plan to use. Now you're gonna notice that I had biomes of plenties in there. Well, biomes of plenty is cool because you can actually grab the biome IDs from that and make your own custom super flat world. So that's kind of the game plan. I just need to check some of the generation things to make sure that we like what we see before we get started. So, you know, do we want beehives? Do we want lakes? You know, things like that. And for the most part, this looks, you know, pretty good. Um, if I could change one thing, I might try to figure out how to get rid of these, though. I'm not sure that I really want the meteors on the surface. I know that you can sometimes hide them underground, and that might be a thing. So another thing I wanted to look at was the ore generation. As you guys can see, we have got quite a bit of ore generation here. Um, and that's another thing. So I forgot to add Walla. <laughs> uh, so there's like just tons of different ores in the game. Uh, lots of changes to be made. So uh, to just get getting started here. Oh, roguelike actually generated. Perfect. I think roguelike for some reason only generates near villages if i remember correctly so i'm glad to see that that's working one thing i'm very curious about to see if this is going to work with um with things like other biomes for example so i'm not going to get into the mod list right now because that's kind of silly uh i do want to kind of just show you some of the things what is this blue building what are you oh so there's two forestry houses now i didn't know that these are fancy. I haven't seen this. Um, I love forestry. Forestry is probably like top three, top five mods for me. So just looking at the world right now, I like the generation. Um, I think it can be changed a little bit though. So just our first change right off the bat, we need to, I'm actually, let me get a notepad out here. I need to fix a bunch of things. First being the world generation ore. So new so world gen we need to fix that so what we can do really quickly is just come down here and um let me grab a pickaxe let me see if this will actually work i don't know if this is going to work or not it might there we go so um if we go into controls go down to or excavation So we got, oh yeah, there are tons of ores down here that needs to be disabled. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. You guys know how I feel about that. So one thing I want to in, add in is dense ores. So we need to add that mod in. There are ores that need to be disabled. Um, lots of like kind of crappy world gen. I'm not a big fan of the chisels and stuff, but there isn't really much I can do about it. Immersive engineering. Okay, so... To start off with, we need to fix world gen. We need to add dense ores, and um, I'm gonna grab some biome IDs that I think I'm gonna like, and I will uh, we'll generate some worlds with those IDs and see which ones we like the best, I think. So that's the first start of getting this pack up and running. All right, guys, so we're back. I have made a bunch of changes. First off, I added like 16 more mods, right? We're up to 120 total. I have removed all ore generation besides thermal expansion. Uh, seeds from Pam's Harvest Craft now drop in grass. I added like a ton of mods. AE now gins underground. And we're gonna test some biomes out from Biomes of Plenty. So you're gonna see a few things here that are a little bit different. I added a mod called Better Foliage. 
and I'm not sure if I want to use it. For recording, it's going to make it kind of hard. You know, like, in and, and theory, the mod is fantastic. To, it would be fantastic to use. But with video, not sure that it's going to show up the way I want to. So first thing that I'm removing is I'm removing lakes. Don't want lakes in my world. We're going to use the first biome we are going to look at is 73. So there we go. There we go. Generate. So this first biome that we're looking at is called an orchard uh, from Biomes of Plenty. And it should generate with apple trees. Uh, what I'm curious to see is if roguelike is going to generate with it and how the better foliage acts once um, once it's in a new biome. So you'll see what I'm talking about with the better foliage in just a second. It's kind of rough on the eyes at first. Um, so this is the orchard. Apparently this is, oh no, this actually gen to a, um, huh, maybe it just ignored the biome totally. So as you can see, it's kind of, it's a little, it's a little rough on the eyes. I like parts of the mod, like the trees are fantastic. The grass, not so much though. Okay, so it did seem to kind of ignore uh, the biome that I wanted to use. Um, interesting. That's interesting. I suppose if I wanted to use a single biome for the super flat, I could just use lonely biome. Okay. So, I don't know. As much as I want to use this, I don't at the same time. The, the There are uh, plants. I added this mod called plants in. This thing, look, these look so cool. Can you do anything with this? Plant ball. Oh, and it turns into die. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, hole in the ground. I like it with no water, right? Like, it looks a thousand times better. There are some lava lakes. It's not a bad idea. Um, okay, so I don't think the biomes are going to generate the way I want them to. So what I might do is add lonely biome in, and I think I'm going to remove... Um, the better foliage. I just don't think it's going to work for video. It would work if it was uh, something else, though. So once again, I'm going to try this one more time. I would be surprised if this one works. So the next one we're going to try is Biome 71. This is like a magic forest biome. It looks so cool. It's got like purple water. <laughs> it looks really cool. So we'll give it a shot and see what happens, but I don't know if it's going to work or not, so... Probably not, I would assume. E nope, didn't work. Okay. Well, that's kind of lame. But I do see some things that I want to remove. For example, that is a Pam's Harvest Craft Beehive. I'm not sure if I want to keep that in the game or not. So we might change Pam's Beehives. The Water Lake's got to go. Villages are cool. Unfortunately, um... There was a mod called Hunger Overhaul. And I'm not sure what mod does that, but that looks pretty cool. Is that like that on all the mods? Huh. I wonder what mod makes that happen. I wonder if that's a better foliage. Interesting. Okay. That's still pretty cool looking. So there are some changes that need to be made. So... All right, yeah, better foliage has got to go, though. All right, guys, I think we are ready. I feel like this pack is perfect for super flat. It's got a mixture of a lot of different things, a lot of fun things, and it's going to be amazing. So, uh, like I said, I'm not going to be publishing this pack like uh, publicly on the Twitch launcher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a link to the download for my instance. Uh, this is a very easy thing to do. I will leave instructions with the readme. It's simple. You just import the file and it gives you everything you need. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've done all the changes. I think I've got everything settled correctly. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to create a world. So we're going to do channel world. Now, when you play this pack, if you're going to play super flat like I'm playing, there's a few things you need to do. First, we're going to play with sheets on just in case. Uh, then we're going to do structures, bonus chests. Let's do default super flat presets overworld. Now, this is our overworld code right here. We want dungeons, we want lava lakes, we do not want regular lakes. They, they, they flood 
very annoying. One mine shafts, one stronghold, decorations. We're going to be using the plains biome. Villages, grass, everything else looks pretty correct there. I tried to get other biomes to spawn. Don't really think it works though. For the seed, let's do modded super flat and create world. So that is how we're going to do our world. I'm excited to play this, man. I love super flat. It's so much fun. Also, a huge fan of just making packs now. Like, I'm addicted to it. And I hope you guys enjoy, like, that aspect of it. It's a lot of fun. So, um, this should be a good time, I think. Okay, let's make it sure enough. Okay, so, uh, this pack, or this playthrough, is going to be more of a kitchen sink playthrough. Cancel. This is going to be more of a kitchen sink playthrough where we just have fun and play. So... First off, let's just get our surroundings. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up journey map and I'm going to auto map all that's going to give me all of my surroundings. So we see a village already. Very good. Very good. Was there any other villages around us? Uh, not really. Okay. So let me go ahead and make a waypoint for spawn. There we go. Save. Cool. So. Let me go ahead and do controls for ore excavation. We've already got that on shift. So if we have something in our hand, we should be able to just vein mine the tree. Okay, so we need JEI, utility mode, magnet mode. There we go. It's like, dude, these flowers are so good. Red. Okay, I wonder if I like all of them do red. So there's different color ones. These ones, do these do green? Huh, okay, so it, it seems like that mod simply just allows us to do red. I guess that's fair, that's kind of non-cheaty in a way. Let's grab this. Oh, there's uh, some Pam's Gardens we should grab. So we have a little bit of food here. Grab that. Not gonna do a ton of exploring because I know that I can walk for a while. There we go. Mm. And then those be should be able to turn into seeds. Yeah. Fantastic, dude. I'm so pumped for this. What's that one? Oh, cactus green. Hmm. That's fantastic. So I did add X Nihilio for that exact reason. There are some things in the pack we can't get, like cactus, for example. Um but that's cool because we can totally get cactus green from that. Um, very excited to do forestry, by the way. But I think the problem with forestry is, is we're going to be limited to types of bees. Brown dye. Man, that's so cool. Put that back. Uh, ooh, what's that? Pincher. Pitch or plant. That doesn't, I'm sure that does something. Put that back. <laughs> I'm just exploring. I'm having so much fun right now. Oh my God. So um, there was one thing that I didn't get that I really wanted. Uh, blue dye. Uh, I wanted to be able to generate Pam's, um, Pam's uh, villager stuff, but that's actually a mod called Hunger Overhaul. And that does not, it's not updated, so. What are you? That's orange? Oh, that's red. Okay. Man, that's so cool. So, I'll take the treated sticks and the wood. I'll leave the rest of that stuff there. What's inside? Oh, we definitely need the hammer. Grab the hammer. Lots of aluminum. Wow. Okay. I'm going to leave some of these buildings intact for now. Okay, that is also got to get turned off. Sensitivity 100%. Auto jump off. Good to go. Okie dokie. Oh, wow. That was a good find. We got dark boots. Put that on. We got a sword. So let me get rid of these two books because we don't need those. We can actually make a diamond pickaxe and other tools. That's crazy. Such a good start. Wow. Okay, over here, what's in this one? We don't even need to make that now because we got that. 
Um, let's put the food on our bar. Put that up there. And that. There we go. So we have plenty of food. And a pepper. Nom, nom, nom. Let's go over to the other immersive engineering house. There's also bee houses too. Like I said, I really want to get into uh, heart or not harvest craft, but I really want to get into um, into forestry again. I love forestry. I'm very fond of that mod. There we go. So I'm gonna leave these alberaries here for now, just because I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing yet. Well, we got meadows and common you know what that might be a good way i was a little worried about forestry being a problem because there are some biomes that we can't really get bees from like jungle biomes for example we might be able to find them in there though i'm not sure okay so two things here do the tinkers buildings still spawn i don't see them anymore all right, so I want to come in here, crafting table. So let's make a few things here, there. And I'm gonna make a diamond ax. Pretty good starting set of tools, if I may say, my, say so myself. So yeah, starting tools, I wanna grab these so we can take those. Cool. Um, not sure if there's going to be three pieces of wool here or not, but I would like to take the torches and hopefully get a bed made. So that will be pretty cool. Another thing that I really wanted to find was uh, Pam's villager, but I don't think that's a thing right now. All right, let's. Oh, there's one right over there. Perfect. So we'll be able to make a bed as well. Oh, that's fantastic. Yo, this is such a good start. I don't want that or that. There we go. So we now have enough stuff to make a bed as well. Fantastic. Okay, good, good stuff here. Let's go back over to the house real fast if I can find it. Uh, This one? Not that one. I was just looking to see if there was any other types of houses. That's one thing we don't have. There's not much variation in houses. There we go. 1.7 Minecraft had a ton of that, though. So there we go. We've got a black bed. Sick. So as far as where do we want to live, I think I'm going to try to go probably about right here. So let's see. We want to go J. Let's go this way. So, oh, I forgot in-game. In so there's always something that you're going to forget. Oh, that must be another village over there then. Yeah. Wow, that really didn't show up on my mini-map, did it? It's not there. Huh. All right, well, I don't want to go that way then. I just want to have a nice empty or clear view, I suppose. Also, these flowers are so cool. What is this? What do we... Oh, there's a chest. Oh, look at that. Very good chest. Um, what do I want to drop? We can put some of this food up. I want to take the saplings and the sugar cane and the vines. Dude, that's cool. I think this is called a nature core. It literally just generates like wood. So. All right, we'll do that. Cool. Alright, so I, I kind of just want to go out of the view of the village, and then we'll probably start setting up. We will need to get a tree farm made. Uh, I don't have tree twerking made in this pack, and I kind of felt like that was on purpose. I don't think we really need tw tree twerking. So, that is perfect. Right here should do. So, my inventory is about to take a huge hit. Perfect. All right. So first off, uh, break all this down. Make a crafting table. There we go. So in the past two days, we have had crazy winds outside. It's like it's so windy right now. 
there. Let me put all this stuff in here because our inventory is about to get really full. I'm really surprised I didn't get more seeds from that. I have it set to Pam's drop from seeds. I was going to say, I guess it's just more of a rare occurrence then. Makes sense. So we don't need a very big space. Just need a little space to get started here. First thing we definitely, definitely need to do. Um, well, besides getting a bucket set up together so we can make a water source is we need to get food going right away. One thing I've noticed in super flat is that we always kind of come up short on food. So take care of all that. There we go. I think that's probably more than enough room, to be honest with you. Put that in there, put that in there. So do I have any? I only have those jungle saplings. So we should get some oak saplings really quickly and try to get a cool little tree farm up and running. Let's grab you. A few saplings from that one. Let me grab this one over here as well. There we go. So we also got torches. We'll definitely get those set up too. Okay. So actually we got really lucky. This is a pretty good spot. We should probably sleep before all the mobs start spawning though. Barley and corn. We're going to have such a fun time farming in this pack. I want to make a huge farm. So let's sleep really quick. Cool. All right, so um, got that set up. Let me go ahead and eat some more. I should have put Spice of Life in this. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that mod, though. All right, get that all set up. So let's get a small tree farm going here. So we have uh, plenty of wood to collect later. Don't need it to be super huge, but I do need some wood. There we go. And for now, I don't have a lot of wood. I should probably get some more. I would use jungle, but eh. if I had bone meal, man, I almost wonder if I should add tree twerking. I don't know. Mm. What do you I wonder what you guys would think if we should add tree twerking. I kind of feel like that's fair, but at the same time, there's other ways to get wood. So you know what? I'm not going to add it. All right, so I want to make just a little safety shelter that has our bed and our storage and all of that in it. So let's just come back here and we'll do maybe a tiny little shelter, like maybe a three by three, just a little hut. And we'll design it to be super efficient. So we're definitely going to need some more wood, though. Do we have a tall tree around here? No. See, and that makes me think that I should add tree twerking. I don't know. All right, so I'll use that as the question of the day then. Should I add tree twerking to this pack? I don't know. I don't really know if it's suitable or not. We'll see. Because we can always just go mine more. There's such cool flowers. I love that flower mod. That's so neat. We got rhubarb. A rhubarb, chili, and eggplant. Yo, I think one of the goals we should set up for ourselves is to like try to make one of every single thing from pans. That would be so sick, dude. I'm I, I can't lie to you. I'm I've got a gigantic smile on my face right now. This is very cool. Although I may not sound excited, it's just that's because it's seven thirty in the morning and I'm very tired. <laughs> I've been up all night, so. All right, so I think we'll sh we should be able to fit everything inside of this, no problem. So first off, let's think storage. Uh, we'll use the back wall for that. And I want to make one more chest. There we go. Okay. So we'll put this those there. There we go grab you so that back wall will take care of a good bit of stuff for us also need to eat some more food here put my chair real fast 
All right, let's eat. So this is if we, this thing will be good because if we get like stuck out in the open or something, we should be okay to just come in here and hide. So something like that. And then what I'm thinking is, um, we can either use fences or walls. I think I'll use fences though. Don't really have a lot of wood though. Gotta be kind of conservative here. So, so that will be one, two, one, two, three. So I think we need about 15, a little bit more maybe. And we can use fence gates for the entrance. Pretty much nailed that. I am one short. Damn. <laughs> that sucks. And I'm out of wood again. Okay, so the more and more I play, the more and more I want to add tree twerking in. So I wonder if there's any other way to get that to like work better. Make another little piece of tree farm here. There we go. Okay. So let's finish this up. Make another fence and we'll just craft it from there. And I can use the rest of those fences for uh, fuel. So I'll put those in there. Cool. So now that that's finished, um, how do I want to do this? I think I'm actually going to only make it too tall. And, ooh, those are cool looking. Pokeweed berries. Hmm. Uh-oh, not good. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, we probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, am I on peaceful? No. Uh. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, guys. Uh, Pokewood is not good. Hmm. There we go. Uh, maybe too high was kind of a bad idea. Maybe we go higher. We'll see. Let's make some slabs. Start with 36. We don't want to waste all of our wood. There we go. I don't understand that right there. You used to be able to... Um, you used to be able to do that. That doesn't make any sense to me. You used to be able to open chests with underside platforms like that. Not anymore, apparently. Okay. Do we want to? I think we do want to do three high. Let me grab some more wood. Wow, lots of apples on that one. I suppose if we're going to get an apple tree going, we should probably do that soon. There we go. I think we'll do three high. This is going to look a little bit better. Can always do top side slabs. There we go. So, how do we want to handle the back portion of this? I could always put another chest up there or something. I was thinking about just doing something like this and then maybe on the inside but I guess that doesn't really work all right hold on we'll figure this out we got this guys we're better than that that right there okay and we definitely don't want mobs climbing over but I think we can cover the inside up a little bit too so Cover that up. So something like that. And then this is going to annoy me. I'll figure something else out for that. I don't know yet. Maybe we'll just put another chest in there or something. All right, so how do I want to do the rest of this? Let's go up a block. I was thinking maybe we just do this. And then that gives us like a cool little exterior there we go that works i like that cool so you uh let's do like 24 more i think that'll be enough crap 
Wonder if we should completely overhang. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna put the overhang there, but not all the way over there. So when it comes here, we'll go there instead. So something like that. I like that. That's cool. It looks cool. I like it a lot, actually. So there, there. And let's see what that looks like. Kind of looks like a little bit of a puzzle piece, but I think for the sake of safety, we should probably have that closed off. There we go. So we got ourselves a nice little base to start off with. And then we'll put our bed in here. How do I want to put the bed in here? That's not going to be in the way. If I put it right there, it's kind of in the way. Maybe right there. That could work. Or I've got another idea. I do need to make a fence gate real fast, so let's do that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need tree twerking. Okay, so let's make a fence gate. Uh, all right, fence gates, you. We need two of them. Eh, yeah, let's make one more. Why not? I typically don't go for the two setup, but there we go. Keep it classy. So now this is pretty cool looking. So let's take those torches that we got. Put those outside. There we go. Okay, so now we've got a nice little home. What I was thinking about doing for the bed was making a little undercut underneath of us. So that would only require a few ladders, like literally like three. So let me grab my shovel. So we'll go down uh, right here. So we'll go down one, two, and then just make a tiny little cutout. There we go. Put that right there, put a torch and stuff in here, and then put our bed down here. Yes. Oh, it's so cool. All right, so we've got a nice little starter hut here. Very good, very good. Um, then we've got a nice little place to sleep, go down, and sleep. Fantastic, I like that a lot. All right, so guys, I think that's probably gonna do it for this first episode. If you guys enjoyed the first episode, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. This is I, Jevin. Peace out, guys.